Uh, Troy, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Too. How are you? Um, how has the uh, Eredivisie been for you this season in ASA? Uh, it's been good. Um, I can't complain. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying playing playing games and. Yeah, as of recently with the team, we haven't been doing too well in the last couple of games, but before that we were flying, so yeah, it's, it's been a good start. And you were among the goals in, in European competition as well? Yeah, uh, one, of the, one of the reasons I went there is because of the, the European football, so to be playing in them games and uh, yeah, getting, getting my first European goal was a nice feeling. How disappointed were you not to be involved in the last window? Yeah, it's di it was it's disappointing. As, as a player, you always want to play. Um, obviously, I've had some some good moments for Ireland as well. So, to uh, yeah, to to not play and not and not get uh, get a chance to show myself was was disappointing. But uh, well, it's not something I'm gonna sit around and cry about. We're uh, we're here now. It's a new camp. Um, yeah, we have to see what happens. The manager spoke very highly of you on the day of the squad announcement. I mean, are you hopeful of getting a start? Are getting game time in the next two games? Yeah, I hope so. I, I want to play. Uh, I feel ready to play. Um, but again, it's, it's, it's the manager's decision. Uh, I can only come here, uh, be as fit as I can, play, train, but the best I can, and then uh, see what happens. Amory. Hey, Troy. Hi, how are you? Uh, the manager spoke about how the team seems to be a bit low on confidence the last few months. You're a player that's obviously in form and confident. Do you think that's important to bring to the squad? Yeah, I think I think for me it's a good thing, of course. And then obviously coming in here, if if I get the chance to play, I'm gonna feel uh, ready and I'm gonna feel like I can make an impact on the game. So yeah, I could see why why the team feels a bit long form because of previous results. But yeah, I think it, it's on all of us to try and turn that around. Uh, Hamer was saying as well last week at the squad announcement, he thinks he needs to get a kind of a consistent starting eleven that all know how to play with one another is that something maybe you're thinking of when you get myself in there into his plans for the starting eleven? yeah for sure i think i'll think that and i think all of the other players will think that as well um yeah i think it, it's about us showing what we can do when we get the chance to do it so yeah hopefully i can i can do that this camp you say now the, the move to as it, the motivation of the European football, was that with one eye on your international career to be, to be playing in Europe obviously makes it easier to be selected in the international squads? Yeah, I think so. Um, but I think for me it was uh, it was just about getting the experience of, of playing European football. Um, and I've had a, a small taste of it now with, with two games and yeah, I, I can only ask for more. Steve, please. Cheers, Kenny. Um, hey, Troy. Uh, just wondering about Hamer's training sessions, like he, I suppose the kind of football that we would have seen uh, play with Iceland was a kind of fairly compact 4-4-2, gritty, hard working. Can you see that reflecting on the training bit so far? Uh, yeah, in a, in a way, in a way, I think uh, as Irish Irish people and as a, as an Irish squad, we all always have that grit and that and that hard work. So I think it's about having that, but then also bringing the quality that we need to to go out and win matches. There seems to be a feeling that Ireland have lost maybe that kind of trade of where you play home games and you're hard to beat, that this current Irish squad are easy to beat. Is that something you think you can fix in this current campaign? Yeah, I don't think we're, we're easy to beat. I think internationally all the teams are good. Um, so every game is, is a real test. Um, I think for us it's, it's about, as I said before, trying to right the wrongs from the last camp and, and trying to start pick up some results. I live in the Netherlands. Um, do you feel as well, Troy, that I suppose Ireland have always been looking forward to that replacement striker for Robbie Keane ever since he left and then you came on the scene. You were still very young, a teenager. There seemed to be a lot of pressure put on your shoulders to, to come good very quick. Has moving away from Ireland and the UK helped you a little bit just to get away from that kind of, I suppose, the, the media attention and that kind of thing, just so you can help develop your game because strikers can take time to develop as well mm -hmm. you don't just bounce in the scene as a teenager and, and go from there yeah yeah i think i think you're right in what you say about there being quite a lot of pressure put on um when i was a bit younger i'll tell the truth it used to get to me a bit um but now i'm i'm older i've, I've played more games i've been in england i've been in holland i've i'm experiencing new things so to be away and and 
it's not necessarily being out of spotlight but it's just a new experience for me that I'm really enjoying so for me to, to be there enjoying my football is the most important thing and I think it's one of the reasons why I have managed to do uh, well up to up to now. Neil please. So I, I, was there an opportunity to speak to Hamer either in the last camp or since you come in about, about why you didn't feature in those two games? Or? No, I'm not, um, I'm not really the type to ask a lot of questions you know if if he's made that decision then that's his decision um it's gone i, I can't change what's happened um although i want to play it's uh it is what it is really and now i've come in again and yeah i hope i hope i can get some minutes this time and just in relation to thursday's game was that as big a game you kind of played in the pack there uh, i don't think stadium, club wise, is that yeah i think I, it, club wise it's been the biggest game so far um and it, it did, that's why I wanted to to uh, move away and and play in them them type of games to to get that experience and and kind of test myself at that level. And that helped you at international level too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's um, I can't really ask for much more to to be playing away in Spain on a Thursday night is yeah, it's top. Paul, please. Try Harry. Um, we saw when the manager named the squad that he left out some senior players, Matt Hardy and Callum Robinson. Does that just go to show that? He's new in the door, but he can't have a roof inside as well. Yeah, I think I think so. It's uh, it's obviously it's his decision. You know who who comes and who doesn't. Um, I'm just uh, happy for me that I've I've got the call up again. I love being here. I love being around the squad. So, on on a personal note, I'm I'm buzzing to be to be back in. Martin, can please. Thanks, Greg. Um, obviously, uh, can you give um to the young Irish players now? An example of the benefits of playing outside of the Ireland or the UK, and how it might bring on your career, and you know, should more Irish kids look at that? Then? Yeah, I, th- I don't know if, if I can tell them. Yeah, you should go there. You shouldn't. It's, uh, I think it's different for everyone. For me, it suited me a lot to, to move away and play somewhere else, but. I don't. There could be a young young Irish lad that goes to the UK and does really well um, straight away. So I think for everyone it's different. But if if someone was to ask me, I would definitely say that it's a good experience, and yeah, I would I would advise them to go. Dave, why you say why particularly in your in your situation? Why? For for me, yeah. Um, I think just the the style of football is different from from. I played a lot in the championship and and a, a bit in League One as well. So. I think the style of football in, in the Netherlands is, is different to the championship and I think it suits me more uh, in in Holland. David, please. You said there, Troy, about when you're a bit younger, how the pressure affects you. In what way did that pressure affect you? Uh, I think just trying to trying to live up to to the hype in, in a way at such a young age where it was never going to happen that early. It's, it's, football is never so easy, you know. Um, so for me, it, it was just more about just growing up a bit and, and trying to block the noise out in a way. And were you even getting that hype from even within in terms of people around you or even just coming to football or was it the media or what? what? No, I don't think it was, yeah, it was It was a lot uh, with the media. It wasn't, there wasn't people around me or f- from within. I obviously knew that I had talent. Um, how good it was, I don't, I don't know. I didn't get many games to, to try and show or to try and see that, but... Yeah, I think it was it was a lot to do with the media. And in terms of just to you just last one, in terms of the European games now with Az and Colonia, how has that helped you just even dealing with that pair of games and learning to be a different kind of professional as well? Yeah, it's, it, when you're playing on the weekend and then midweek is it like you have to learn to recover better and, and do everything you can to, to try and be ready for the next game, especially when you're playing in in the Europa League or, or in a European competition. The the games are high level so you have to be uh, yeah you have to recover and, and try and be at your best for, for when them games come. John Tom please. Troy, hey um as, as young as you are, you're one of the few players who were around the last time with a chance of qualifying. I know you only come in in twenty nineteen, but since then it's been we've been out of campaigns very early. Now I know these aren't qualifiers but they're sort of a springboard to next year. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of these lads don't know what it's like to compete in that. Is that is that a problem? Like is that Something like high responsibility getting out of losing mentality the winning mentality. Yeah. No, I think it's it's been a difficult couple of couple of campaigns for us, um in terms of results and also in terms of in terms of the, the quality of the opponents that we've we've been putting groups with. It's um 
uh, with the the last group was Netherlands and and France. Um, they're world class countries, you know. France are winning, won the World Cup, uh, got to the final last the last time. It's a uh, it's difficult games, um, but as I said before, I think it's it's on us now to try and turn it around and and start picking up results more regularly um, to try and get back to where where we want to be. Tony Philip. Um, Troy, on, on that basis, um, this this group isn't as difficult. You take England out of it, obviously they probably shouldn't be in League B. But Greece and Finland, their team, we should be able to beat. We've started off the campaign badly. What's what's needed in this window, and what will be a good return? I I think what's needed in this window is results. Uh, I think we need to start picking up points. Um, it's it's far from finished. Uh, we've lost two games, but it's not done. We still have uh, four games left, so. I think for sure we need we need to start picking up results and, and getting some points on the board. Just about May, very briefly, uh, have we seen the best of you yet? The, uh, me personally, no, I don't think so. Um, I think I've had some good moments in Ireland shorts up to up to date, but uh, yeah, another thing that that I want to do in in Holland is just keep improving. Uh, I'm not finished. I'm not finished article. Uh, I need to keep getting better and keep keep trying to learn more and more stuff. So yeah, to answer the question, no, I don't think you've seen the best. Well, I'll just squeeze one more in. Uh, after this window, and I know your international duty, would you have a visit back to Tottenham later this month? Yeah, game. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I had a, I had a feeling. I had a feeling it would happen. Uh, I was watching the draw when it was when it was getting done. I had a feeling that would happen, but I'm, uh, yeah, I can't wait for that one.